Okay, now let's consider to convert from decimal to other base system numeric values, right? So it was easy to change any uh, non-decimal base system to decimal. You just multiply the place value, like the powers of base, to each value in the place, right? Then it's easy to do that. But how about converting to a certain uh, base from a decimal notation? Then the whole entire method is like this. Eventually, the meaning of base is each place has the powers of that base. So typically, all the values, all the given number, must be multiplied by the base, the given base B first. And keep doing it okay, until we got the entire number is divided by that B, okay. again, again, again. So, uh, for example, if the given number is 1073 in decimal, then let's change that to base 5. Then the question is, how many 5s in this given number? Which means we just take division, like 1073 divided by 5. And the remainder... Actually, it's like this. 5 and 23 and 4, 20 is 3. Right? So remainder is 3 and quotient is 214. Which means we can convert 1073 to 214 times 5 plus 3. Now, temporarily, let's consider this way. 214 is some number which has the, the symbols that we have in that uh, base system then it can be written by that 214 3 right as a two digit number with base 5 because 3 is less than 5 so it should be written that way problem is that 214 is greater than 5 which means it's multiple of fives again within there right which is already multiplied 5 ahead so we need to take care of that quotient again by division of 5. Okay. So we have to do this one again, 214 and divide by 5, then quotient is 4, and 14 means 2, remainder 4. So quotient is 42, and remainder is 4. Then you can convert the meaning of this one like this. Instead of 214, you can put 42 times 5 plus 4, times 5 plus 3, right? That's the actual meanings of that number, right? So you can do this portion again, divide by 5. Then when you pulled out this one, in, at this moment, it, it changed to 42 times 5 squared by the distribution, plus 4 times 5 plus 3. So this form looks like exactly the same as this die, right? So if we have 42, the symbol for 42, then it can be written by 42 and 4 and 3 with base 5, right? The only problem is 42 is greater than 5, which means it has at least one 5, okay? So we have to take the division again and again and again like that, right? So, when you look at this 3, 3 is just a simple unit value, the first place. But when you look at 4, that's actually 10th position, or the second place in that notation. And 2 should be the next position. So when you look at those remainders, actually these remainders becomes a number itself. Right? So all together, that 1073 can be written by starting from that because that should be the largest value, right? So 1, 3, 2, 4, 3 with base 5. <coughs> so I actually recommend just doing this way because it requires a lot of space, but that's all. You just do those kind of 
positional division, then you will get all the answers, right? And when you look at the, the study book in the PDF file, you can actually see the animation about uh, a little bit different way of calculation here. But this one requires a lot of space also, and it might be confusing, okay? Because uh, you are not getting used to see that way, right? So please look at that uh, animation, but uh, if it's too much complicated, then just to do this way, okay? That is enough. So let's look at some example, and let's try to calculate here. So let's convert this decimal number with base 7, okay? Then we already did this one. First, we have to divide this by the given new base 7. So it's 1, 31, 4 is 28, 36 is 5. So remainder is 1. Then do you remember what we did? We have to keep this one for the notation of new number. But that is greater than 7, then we have to take the another division for that number, that quotient, by the same base, right? So, like that, just like this. So that's our next remainder, and it's 20. Then take the division of that by 7. So like this, and at this time, this 2 is less than the base. Then we know we have to stop there. Then look at which one we got first. This, right? And next one, next one. And eventually, this 2 can be do this way, right? And remainder is 2, right? You can think like that. So these are the remainders. Then the last one must be placed at the highest position. So you just rewrite in backward like that and with base 7. But it's kind of not necessary, right? When you find out your quotient is less than base, then just to be careful, you start with that base. And just imagine, after that you want to write down this, but instead going down, right? Remainder, 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 like that, right? Okay, please do this one. Now be careful, the base is 12. So in the division, you might have some number as a remainder bigger than 9, right? So like a remainder could be 10, 11, right? So just keep that one, but change that 10 and 11 to A or B, right? So, and you get the results for that, okay?